Hey guys. It's been a long week. I haven't seen you for a while. Welcome back. Yeah. We are Stefan, the wonderful savant of all sports. And then there's me. Yeah. Whatever. We don't talk about sports on G Chat while we're supposed to be doing our jobs. Definitely not. We, we would never do that. Right now. Right for the appropriate times. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we wanted to jump into college basketball given that it's Feast Week, and that's pretty much like the second most wonderful time of year mm -hmm. uh, next to March. Uh, so you have got all your conference championship yep. picks along with your final four picks already. My kids are taking uh, a standardized test, so that's what I did. Can I, can I make a guess that these final four picks will probably change fairly substantially? I, actually made, or I you... made all these picks before the season even started, so they would change now, but I want to give you my preseason picks. Okay, are we going to start with uh, the conference champion? Yeah, we'll go with the big six here. And the big ten, as weird and awkward as I feel to say this, not because they're not a good team, but because they don't belong in the big ten is Maryland. I'm going Sparty there. Yeah, I mean, hey. I, you know, uh, this is based on such a small sample size of uh, Maryland. Uh, they've looked good. They haven't looked great. Again, I, I would say that the gap's a lot closer than I thought it was at the beginning of the year, That's but right I made this. these um, like three weeks ago. So. Um, I mean, you look, Maryland's a good team, but uh, running on freshman and a sophomore, I don't know. My thoughts. Big 12 I have next. I have uh, who that's, else? Yeah, that's not a discussion. Does anybody else win that conference? In, until someone else wins, not discussion these over. these guys. These are the last guys. <laughs> no, okay. Uh, so I have Kansas there, of course. Uh, Big East, also kind of a no-brainer in my mind. I went Nova. I uh, would also go with that, but watch out for Providence. That'd be fun. I would, I would enjoy that. I mean, with Chris Dunn... Some, some old Billy Donovan it's, days. It's not a great back. conference. Uh, one player could probably what take him pretty far here. What if, uh, what if some coach of Louisville gets fired over a sex scandal and goes back to Providence next I year? I feel like that ended. I haven't heard much about that yeah, lately. It's just no. thinking, kind of just like died down, didn't it? Uh, <laughs> SEC. Well, that happened. SEC. I mean, yeah, Kentucky. There's no discussion there. Pac-12 was kind of hard for me at the beginning of the year. Now I kind of like my pick. But uh, I went with Arizona. I heard, a lot of, I heard a lot of buzz about Utah, but um, I don't really like many Rick of the Majerus options. Rick Majerus is not there anymore. I actually think he's dead. Rest in peace. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, not loving the options in the Pac-12. Also, no. I mean UCLA is a nice yeah. historical pick. You know, comfort pick. I but think they're a four or five seed in the NCAA tournament. To be honest with you, um, and I thought that at the very beginning. But Arizona, I like them. Um, I like them a lot, actually. Uh, anyways, ACC. My conference. Who you got? This is my NC State. I absolute. Assume, right? <laughs> no, I have them in the tournament though. Oh, uh, <laughs> absolute favorite year of the ACC so far in the longest time. So I think they're so much better than the rest of the country as far as conference depth. Uh, I actually cool. went Virginia, um, just because I hate North Carolina, and I think Duke falls off just a little bit. I still think they go to the Elite Eight, and you can check my. Sweet 16 bracket, if you want, that I've sent probably everybody who's on this, and those aren't, can't go tell me, I'll send it to you. Yeah, you know, I am uh, sort of a huge Duke fan, kind of, a little bit. Um, I think I've seen you watch them a couple times. One or two games, probably. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to consider a Sweet 16 a successful year this year. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't mean to brag, but I'm just going to go ahead. Two years ago, I watched the very first game, and I called my friend and said, it's an early exit this year. Early exit. Last year, I watched the first game, and I called my my same friend, and I said, "This could be it. This could be the year." And uh, what happened? They did okay. This year, watch the games. I'm just I'm not loving that team right now. I, I don't think they have all the pieces in place. But it is November. It is November. Interesting. I'm sorry to keep talking about Duke. No, keep that's, going. You know, my yeah. my subject matter expert. If Texas was any good? I'd be talking about um, them. But they're not. What we've got this year. So Duke has three. Four star freshmen in in the yeah on the team this year. It's not the same quality as last year. Nope. They've got the number two recruiting class for next year with the number one and number two recruits. So I'm what you're wondering saying is if it's San Francisco Giants syndrome here all the way around. May, I'm just I'm okay. saying maybe all the guys don't go pro this year because they're not good enough, and then you get two top classes in next year. And yes, that could be something. Beneficial, we'll yeah. Um, 
I don't know. It'll be interesting to see we'll, how those guys we'll pan out. out. But yes, I have. So who do you have, ACC? I'm I'm gonna go with UNC against everything I stand for. More of a jinx than anything. But I will say, I'm not loving Virginia. Mm. I don't think they can score right now. And I still love Virginia. Watch out for Miami. Be fun. That's a good. I that's like a Virginia. that's a good athletic team. Uh, I think they could cause some fits. Uh, we'll see what happens there, but Miami could be yeah. could be one to watch for. Or, you know, they could be the same Miami team that can beat someone by 20 and then lose the next night by 20 and you say, yep. yep. Good NIT team there. Final four picks. Again, I made these about two weeks ago. I uh, had Virginia in there, and I had Kentucky. I don't think many people would say those are bad picks at the beginning of the year. I'm going to disagree with Virginia. Okay. Uh, I had Arizona in there. Um, I think I, 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 there's not a lot of good teams out west, and I think that they're going to get a uh, not that they do it specifically by region uh, as far as seeding goes, but I think they're going to have an easier ride to the final four. And then I made this pick because of the backcourt being as solid and as old as they are, the fact that they have a very upper class back or uh, power forward. And uh, Anton Grady, I went Wichita State, and then Tulsa. Tulsa made me regret that, but I'm sticking with it. Wichita State. Someone's going to get in that's not a power team. That's probably true, but you know who I'm picking there? Finally, after all these years, Gonzaga gets in. You know, that I was in between those two teams, and um, I just, I just That is a Wichita State. really good team this year. Uh, another team that I'm going to pick, a little bit of a surprise, a uh, deviation from the norm. I'm going with OU. Uh, I have them losing the Elite Eight, so I totally get that. Buddy Heald is yeah. uh, he's one of those players that could take you to the I next level. I have them as a three seed getting to the Elite Eight. And I, I like that. I, I, really, I had them playing Arizona, and I really thought they might beat Arizona. But I hate OU with a passion. Um, OU sucks, so I will not put them in my Final Four. You're a better man than me, saying North Carolina. I can't do it. Uh, can't do it. Another that. team, Kentucky. I mean, it's... That's a no-brainer, right? They lost last year to this team that you liked so much. Wisconsin, Wisconsin. right? I yeah, Wisconsin. Um, and lastly... Didn't uh, they lose to a team you liked, though? No. <laughs> uh, Wisconsin did. Oh, Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you were saying Kentucky. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, last pick I've got. Uh, I'm going to go with Iowa State. They've been knocking. You're going with two big, yeah. So they've been knocking on the door I for have, so long, I right? Have, I have Iowa State in my lead eight as well. I actually, strangely, have Kansas losing the Sweet 16. Um, yeah, and that's, I'm not. Yeah. I have Kansas losing the Sweet 16. I like Iowa State a lot. They have two potential All Americans on that roster, as does or as did Wichita State. But uh, no, I I mean I don't hate those picks. Um, this is interesting the, the contrast there. Um, I went a little more chalk than you, I think. Besides yeah, the, yeah, I think I'm going with it with a with an off year. I mean, there's no great team. Iowa State is a very talented team. This is one very of those years team. that like you could see, you know, a, a 10, 12 seed in the Elite Eight. I would like a couple to. Of them. I would like to redo this like every week or two weeks or so. And see how they change. What are you, Lenardi? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I may or may not look at bracketology every week, and then well, when it he, gets closer, he's not March, coming out with another one until December. So I know. December, Hold your horse, like tenth or ninth or something. It said today. So I don't know. You that's need me to got. tell you because he's not there. Zags, OU, Kentucky, Iowa State, Virginia, Kentucky, Arizona, which just for fun conference picks. Do you have any that you want to go out there that are different from mine? Maryland, Kansas, oh, Nova, Kentucky. Remember? Oh yeah. Yeah. Watch the podcast. You'll catch them. Had like two beers. Uh, <laughs> Uh, anyway, well, let's move, move on, on to sports. a better sport, baseball. Baseball. Uh, well, like you baseball. know, right now, is if you're like me, you're having withdrawals, and you look at the winter hot stove report all the time. Uh, so we're gonna talk about it because I've been looking at it a bunch. Uh, let's start off with that. Uh, so Greg we're, we're gonna talk about the top ten free agents and where we right. think they're going, yeah. uh, based on absolutely nothing really. Our minds um, and what we've read. So we'll see. Grenke, we both say San Francisco. I mean, this this one it is kind of the uh, the chalk pick, right? Uh, this is what all the experts are saying. Right. I hope not. Honestly, I don't want him to be a giant. No, I don't. 
That's going to be dirty with him and Bumgarner next year. But I also don't think the year. Dodgers are going to overpay him either, being that he is a little bit up there in age, and they don't want to overpay him a lot of money. With a lot of money. We've got the Dodgers getting a replacement for him, but we'll get to we'll get to that sure. in a minute. Yeah. Uh, David Price. We both have the Cubs, which I would love to see. The Joe Madden reunion would be, I, mm-hmm. you know, it just makes sense. If 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 there was another manager there, I'm not sure I would I would pick that one, but, but this with one makes Madden, a lot of sense. yeah, it's, it's a no brainer. Cespedes, we. Also both now, th- agreed. this was a totally random one that we both agreed on. Yeah, this, they have a lot of money to spend. I think Cespedes is going to be out there a little bit longer, and some of these teams are going to spend their money already. So I think he might, if I dare say, fall, if you can really yeah. fall. To, to an up-and-coming team that could be a sleeper this year. Yeah. Arizona Diamondbacks. Yeah. With A.J. Pollock and Goldschmidt. How about that team? If who you're Cespedes, to- why wouldn't you go there? Who wants to face <laughs> that 3-4-5? I don't. <laughs> no, thank you. I do not. Uh, Justin Upton. So I picked it as a diehard Rangers fan, knowing that they need a right-handed bat desperately, and this is one that they can somewhat afford. Uh, I have him going to the Rangers. I also picked the Rangers be, um, just because they, you know, they need a splash pick uh, mm-hmm. this year. We'll see how that pans out for them. Sorry, this is boring with us picking the same teams on everyone. But uh, this one we do. This is the last one. Jason Hayward, we both picked Houston. I actually didn't know where he was going to go, so I copied Tanker. Full disclosure. And full disclosure, this is a totally random guess. Uh, I mean, Houston's really going for it right now. Right. They've got a lot. And they're not going to try and re-sign Casimir. So you look at you look at Springer, Correa, and Hayward as a young core together. I mean, Hayward, as long as he's been league, get Altuve and Altuve. Twenty-seven this year. I mean, that's that's a pretty nasty lineup too. Uh, They didn't win the division though. They didn't, but they might next year. I know that's a tough division. That's, that's a real tough division. Play the game. I would not want to play in that division next year. Uh, no. Nope. Uh, next, Alex Gordon. I haven't gone back to the Royals. That, that's probably the logical pick. However, but, but Tanker is a homer. The Cubs fan in me says, "Let's go." Maybe put. I don't know, Solaire in center field and, and let Gordon play left. I, you're going to score so many runs, you're not even going to have to worry about it. That's right. I like it. Chris Davis. Uh, I haven't gone back to Baltimore. Uh, you know, I went with another kind of out of left field pick going to Houston. They got a lot of money this Along year. with Hayward. Now, yeah. you had those, those guys that I just mentioned, plus Chris Davis. See, I, I think... Can, can you add another Gattis-like player? So you, no, I don't they know. They are that. actually in the market for both of them. I think mm-hmm. they pick one or the other, and I don't know. One, if they get either one of those guys, I will be pissed because they're already damn good and they're going to get even better. Dexter Fowler, who I actually have his autograph when he played for the uh, Modesto Nuts back in the day. Uh, I had no idea... It's a total I wild card for both of us. I have no idea. For a time there, I thought the Natinals. But uh, remember when they messed up on the jerseys? They called them the Natinals. Yeah. They do. Yeah, that was, yeah. Seattle, just just because. No, I'm, I'm going KC, given that if I think it, they're going to lose Gordon. Gordon. Sign Fowler in his place, my guess. Yeah. Speaking of KC, <sighs> Johnny Cueto. <laughs> Uh, I haven't gone to the Dodgers because they're going to lose Grinky, and they're going to pay him less money and for less years. Yeah. I think it's a good investment pitching in a pitcher. Are you worried work. about him after the finish last year? I don't know. I kind of, you know, you hear reports about him not always being the most motivated, so I would be because he's already got his contract. But I have him as a, a keeper in my fantasy league, so. Good luck to him. Not, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think he'll be fine. He's pretty dominant. Like, I would chalk that, that up to some fluke. I don't know. Hey, uh, lastly, Scott Casimir, we agreed on uh, again Angels. going to LA. The, they, the he other keeps side. being tied there. He's pitched there before. He had success there. He just had a couple injury problems. Yeah, LA's got to be desperate again for it to yeah. add one more piece in there, given There's, last year's uh, finish. Yeah, they uh, lost to that. Both those teams in Texas. So yeah. So, um, there you have it. So sorry, guys. That's all we can talk about with baseball because sadly enough, it's the off season. And well, now we got one more topic. We'll just switch sports again to golf. Yeah. How just about kidding. that? How about uh, uh, that Tiger Woods guy? 
Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about the college football playoff now, obviously the hot topic. This is what I want to talk about the most. So That's what everyone wants to talk about yeah. the most. Uh, so we were going to... We need Kurt Herbstreit's kid on here. I know. <laughs> Dang, grab a kid with him on here. Debate the merits of... Where's uh, Rhino? I don't know where she is. Upstairs sleeping somewhere. Yeah. Or hiding around the corner. Uh, we've got the seven-ish teams that are in contention right now. Uh, we both went with Clemson number one. I sure. don't think that's a shock. I think They're not going to lose again. No, Clemson is going to crush South Carolina this weekend. And you know what? Crush they, they did what the committee wanted them to do. They played a very difficult non-conference game. Or, it's, yeah, it, even though it was against Notre Dame at home, but still. It's technically like a conference game, though, for them. I mean, um, affiliated. Yeah. Conference affiliated. Game. But, I mean, you look at the, so their conference good. championship is going to be against 11-1 and UNC. Possibly, unless my wolf pack can knock them off. But either way, it's going to be against UNC. Um, I don't think they're a threat. I think Clemson's going to walk through that. Now, whether they choose to Clemson in the ACC championship or in the semis, we'll see. But yeah, I um, just want to say Clemson is in, and this other team that I'm picking, even though I hate them with a passion, I think they're in as well. I don't think anybody's going to beat them. It may be Clemson, but uh, Alabama. I think they're good to go. I don't think anybody... No kick six from Auburn this year? <laughs> no, no, and I don't actually think uh, anybody in the East can beat them either in the SEC East. I thought maybe Florida, but they look like shit this weekend. Well, so. You know what sucks? So remember when Tennessee played Bama two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and they had a lead with two minutes to go? Uh, yeah. That was in Alabama. If Tennessee makes... This field goal, I mean, and they missed by this much against Florida. They're in the conference championship right now against yeah. Bama. Yeah, and I, I'd rather watch that than Florida Bama. So, uh, number three team that we have in there, we more or less had them at three because. So we'll we'll, get, we'll talk, oh, about, we'll talk so, about that. Yeah, so we put Notre Dame at number three. Um, neither of us think Notre Dame is number three. We don't. Um, we, think we do that, think they're number four. We we yeah. think they're a very on edge number four, sliding out. Uh, they've got a win versus Navy, which is real good. I mean, they've got the best loss of any team in the nation, obviously. Sure. By That's two to Clemson. Right there, yeah. Um, and I don't know why everyone thinks that quality of loss is the greatest thing now. Yeah. Isn't that weird um, how that just yeah. became a hot thing? Yeah. Um, losing is probably not good. I see Anyways, ten with. Yeah, but anyways. Um, yeah, so so we've got Notre Dame at fourth. Um, having said that, at Clemson at number one, we... No rematch. No rematch. Everybody in college football got really mad at that when the LSU and Alabama played each other. I don't think they want to mess with that again. Yeah, I don't think so either. So we're And, and given that the three and four are going to be so close with Notre Dame and whoever is, is in after that... You know, we figured there'd be no harm in switching them, and co- the committee could make up some mm-hmm. lame excuse for why. So uh, number four, as much as I hate to say it, I think OU wins out, and I think they're number four. So this is a really interesting debate here, too, between OU, Oklahoma State, and Baylor. Um, obviously, you've got a couple games left for that to play itself out Yeah. Uh, with OU and Oklahoma State in a knockout game. And I actually think OU is going to win that. I know Bedlam's at in Stillwater, but I think OU's, they're peaking at the right time. Right. Um, I think they're going to actually beat OU. I mean, last time they played in Stillwater, they won, so I, I don't think uh, it's a big OU game. is just, it, they've yeah. been good lately. And yeah. and so that knocks Oklahoma State out. So then you've got yeah. the decision between OU and Baylor. And I think you have two things you could look at, head-to-head head, and head, strength of I mean, schedule. Head-to-head's the end-all right there. Yeah. I mean, well, win. Well, last, well, well, yeah. I mean, uh, in theory, yeah. in, in a common-sense universe, uh, OU also, won by 10. That's OU it. played Tennessee in their non-conference schedule. At Tennessee. Baylor played Rice and... Lamar. And uh, who else was it? Uh, SMU. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, you know what's crazy? Is last year the committee made it loud and clear. If you have this schedule, you will not get in. Yeah. 20, 2015 comes and... I mean, I guess it's probably too late to cancel these games, right? You can't change your schedule in a year. But... Baylor went ahead and did it anyways, and they're not going to I think if you really in. wanted to, you probably could. If you came up with an agreement like, hey, we'll give you a certain percentage of the money that's higher than normal in our head-to-head matchup, 
like maybe like they want to go somewhere and play somewhere and instead of receiving 15%, they receive 10%. I think they could probably pull that off. Um, it, it's just crazy. I mean, they're going to be 11-1 and one and they're going to have every right to be mad, but they're, they're going to be left out. Well, I, I think they oh, he's going to win out and so they don't have to deal with it. Now, here's the argument though. Michigan Number State. four, Michigan State. I... That's all, that's a that's gonna be a really good Here, schedule here's at what the I end find. of the year after they play uh, this week and and they and then and undefeated then Iowa. Um, if they win, if they beat an undefeated Iowa by a lot, which I assume they will, is it the same sort of situation they saw with Ohio State, winning big in a championship game and then getting into the tournament? I don't think they jump OU because they. They're going to beat Oklahoma State and Stillwater, but Notre now, Dame. I here's don't know. the other question we mentioned: the committee moving Notre Dame up one to avoid the rematch. Would they move them out to avoid the rematch? Um, I mean, and and do they consider the TV dollars that Notre Dame would bring into both Michigan State? I think they always is that do. on the back of your mind. So what I'm getting at is, I think if Alabama, Clemson, OU, Notre Dame went out, I think they're in. By all the reasons that we just stated, and um, and since we agreed on the four, I think it's obviously one hundred percent right. Now, do they win out? I mean, we're not paid to make that decision, but I I definitely feel they will listen to our input. I feel like we should be paid. I My mean, thoughts. Hey, we're better than Herb Street's kid, and I'm sure his dad gets paid. Probably from better than Herb Street too. Definitely, Lee Corso. <laughs> Well, poor guy. And Desmond uh, Howard's in. Nah. Definitely better than Bill Walton, at least. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I don't know. Alibaba.com. Uh, so, yeah. you know, I've got 2% left on my computer, so I think we got to wrap this up right now. Uh, yeah. Thanks for listening. Great talk. The seven of you that did. Uh, that might be a little generous. Uh, anyways, we'll see you Thanks, David and next time. <laughs> Have a good one. Happy Thanksgiving.